improper planning. Improper planning. Improper planning. Luke 14, 28. Look at it. It says, suppose one of you wants to build a house. Will he not sit down first and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? For if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will laugh at them. He is going to let you know that before you start anything, plan. Jesus. Oh, tell somebody, plan. Plan. You can't just wake up the whole year. You've not even planned what you want to do. So any money that is coming, you don't know what the money is going to do. Some of you, set all the money you have got this year. Plenty. Ask yourself, what is it? You can't tell. You have to plan your life. Now, when money comes to you, I'm giving you a financial seminar in the next one minute. They told me for the first of your life. It's called, when money comes to you, how do you divide your money? Can I show you? Sir. Number one, I, I call it the 10, 40, 30, 20 principle. Now, when you get money, the first 10% is for charity. That is for God. Say for God. For God. Now, then you take 40% and keep it down for investment. Investment is money that will give birth for you tomorrow. Then 30% for your expenses. So when you get money, the 30% is for expenses. Light bill water bill food emergency whatever you keep put it there then the last 20 is for savings so the savings so that maybe when you are there and maybe they call you that maybe um your mother is not well bring some money you can go into it to just go and pick some of them but investment money you don't touch it. you don't touch it you don't touch it the investment is what you can use for land real estate treasury bills cocoa bonds all those kind of stuff so all those investments you don't touch it that but, but for daniel why do you say 40 percent for investment sano you are disciplining yourself you are keeping a, a chunk on there because all these investments they increase well for compound interest if you put money down there if you even put do you know that if you put down 500 cities every month on compound interest for five years for five years it will give you good money so the investment take it to kaswa take it to amasama area buy a land you can get a land for eight thousand nine thousand and within one year it can be about forty thousand you buy land and overnight it increases but you are waiting to get one million dollar to buy land at east legon it will take you a long time but if you buy small small there and in five years okay it can get that's right 